Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 53. And, uh, yeah, let's just get this over with. Next Bush Race, Las Vegas, Samstown 300. I'm gonna finish last. I'm just gonna tell you right now, spoiler alert, I'm gonna finish last. So, yeah. Welcome, fans, to the running of the NASCAR Bush Series Samstown 300. The Las Vegas Motor Speedway is known for its long stretches of green flag racing, so it'll be up to these drivers to find a comfort zone very early in this fast-paced race. We're just moments away from the action here at the Diamond in the Desert. All right, so time for some awesome action that I'm not going to be a part of because I'm going to be stuck in last behind everybody. You know how I know? I qualified 29th. So if I even like if I even qualify shit, you know I'm gonna be shit in the race. But good news, our boy Blue Castleberry starts on pole again. Cause fucking why not? We got Twat Bush starting 41st. Jesus Christ, and Frisky Nixon in last. Well then, oh right, here, well, here we go. 50 laps around oh, Vegas, on. and I need to fucking actually put my hands on the controller. So away we go. Almost causing problems with Bliss immediately because I was fucking with my TV volume. Uh, three wide already. Oh my god, I don't have grip. It's the O-ring. Not the O-ring. I don't like being stuck in the middle like this, please. Please no. Ashton, go. Oh, shit. Hi, Wall. How you doing? I think I'll finish 35th. About that. Oh, God. Just gotta, gotta keep telling myself, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. After this season, I'll have a much better bush car. I hope. Just gotta survive these 34 races, because he has 34 races. Have the occasional good race, like, uh, Darlington. I didn't have a good race at Darlington last time, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. I know it did in the trucks. I can't remember how well I did in the bush race there. Do I have school? No. I am... I do not go to school. I have a full-time job, though. That eats up all of my fucking time. Yeah, I heard about the thing with uh, the Dylans and Kamikaze games. I mean, he kind of brought it upon himself for being so dumb about Austin Dillon. I don't know, like, the whole story, but apparently he, like... From what I gather, he fucking loathes Austin. I don't really know the whole story. So anyways, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing the, uh, be driving by myself some more, but it's going to be on the opposite side of the field. It's okay, my car's in poor. My, I, got, I got a nice perp car. Two different shades of perp at that. Mm. Like I said, I don't really know too much about the whole kamikaze thing. I mean, he, like, I've interacted with, interacted with him before. He seems like, he seems cool when he's not raging everywhere. But apparently, said, uh, but when he does rage, I just nope. Mm -mm, I'm going to stay the fuck back. And just not deal with that. Well, yeah, eh, whatever. Is whatever. Oh, please. Please have at least some grip car. I hey, remember that 23rd I got at Rockingham a couple races ago? Yeah, about that.
This race is almost not even worth running, but I get that guaranteed like 10 grand, so I might as well. Because that money is going towards my truck season or truck team next season. Not nobody side when it comes to that. I don't even know like what the fuck is even going on. Like I said, I don't really know the whole situation. Man, I don't dislike Austin Dillon. It's like, oh, he's driving the three. That's Dale's number. I don't care. It's not Dale's number. It's just he was made it popular. It's like, oh, but he dabbed when he won at Daytona. Okay, so... I don't really give a sh I, I think dabbing is kind of dumb, but I'm not going to hate somebody because, oh no, they dabbed. No, I'm not saying that's why he hates Austin, but... I don't fucking know. Like I said, I don't know. I'm speculating. I should shut up. Because, like, I have a, like... Neutral to more positive, uh... I guess relationship with him. That sounds that sounds very gay and kinky. Anyways, uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. There's a clusterfuck going on, on Twitter with him and this one guy. Mm. Eh, I'm not gonna look into it. I don't fuck drama. I don't give a shit about drama. Boy, what did, what happened, Q? Did you get your dick bit of by Doge? By the way, back to the video game. If there's anything good to come out of this race, is uh, our boy Blue is dominating again. <laughs> Hopefully, this time he actually stays in the lead through the pit cycle, because he wasn't able to last time and ended up finishing ninth. Anyways, down here on 43rd. I want a lonely road. It's having 43 cars on track. I mean, it's only three less. It honestly doesn't change anything. Like, from having a, you know... 40 car field to 43. This is the Bush Series Celine. Oi. H3G and model. Wait, is this in a game or like a model car or what? Jesus Christ, Q. Angry dog. Or horny dog. Oh, real life. Like, an actual Hummer H3? If so, no. I mean, unless you like paying, like, you know, $50 a, a day in gas. Shit, halfway on fuel. So I can go about 30 laps. Five laps past halfway. Oh man, pit strategy. Oh god. 
Oh god. Let's stay off that fucking apron. Making me do a heckin' oversteer. Then I'd do a heckin' understeer, probably because I carried too much speed, but still. I just realized the number on this car is the same font as the one I'm using on my modified. Nice. It's almost my actual number, but not quite. You know, 98 as opposed to 91. Ah! Uh, caution? Nope, nope, saved it, no caution, and somebody's out of the race. Somebody's retired. Don't know what happened, don't know when it happened, but, well, don't know when it- Oh, and we got some shenanigans entering pit road. What happened here? That happened, okay. <laughs> I only okay. So we had a wreck on pit entry, and apparently that guy was at a bad enough angle to bring out the yellow. So there's that. There's just one car in the grass there. So uh, there's that. I might as well go ahead and pit since so I'm within fuel range. Well, that was interesting. That was a very uh, silly incident. For sure. But anyways, let's just get some tires, some fuel, and go on to uh, finishing last. Yeah, yeah. What do I think of Matt Malone? I have no idea who Matt Malone is. Therefore, I don't have any thoughts on him. Okay, for a second there I thought I wasn't going to pit, I'm like, well, Jesus Christ, my fucking pit stall is really far down. Alright, okay, thanks for the 100 bits, SLP. Appreciate that. Alright, so out of the pits. Apparently I gained some spots in pit lane. One star team, but pit crew is pretty all right. Oh, he was the guy that finished in Jimmy's car. Oh, I see. I don't know because I was sleeping through the entirety of the uh, Sebring race, so I don't know anything about like. Yeah. So I never actually like experienced Malone, if that makes sense. So I ended up restarting in like what 28th. Damn. Just a damn. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly fall to last here. Of course. Try to pick up at least a couple skill points, maybe. Before they lose me. Oh, Jesus. Just waiting for them to catch me and pass me. I won't be able to keep up for long. Excuse me. Give me some fucking room. Okay, now I'm taking too much room. Okay. 
Wonderful. And down the last I go. Maybe. Oh, oh, we got some we got some scraping going on behind me. Hold on. Yeah, the fucking sim guys like They seem to not like Jimmer at all. Because how dare he like, you know, not take this 112% seriously. You gotta name your team something serious, not team poor life decisions. Cause that means you're not taking this seriously and therefore you're just you're not actually like, you know, trying. Mm. Honestly, I don't know why, other than, like, you know, like I said, like you said, area of the fan base, which... Yeah. There, there's some people that like Jimmer that are, uh, stupid. To put it bluntly. Over-defensive. Over yeah, how, how dare Jimmer have fun and also be better. I mean, it's okay to take something like, you know, iRacing serious, but you gotta have fun as well. Like, serious does not come with salt. You add salt to it if you're one of those people. But you can have fun while also racing seriously. Hence, team poor life decisions. <laughs> And fucking Boily. Like, Boily's, like... Like, probably a top-tier sim driver, and... Meanwhile, he's just like, yeah. Boily's great, by the way. You have to have fun, or at least attempt to. Game's a fucking money sink. Hence his team name. That is true. Poor life decision was buying iRacing. Uh -huh. Anyways, I'm in 37th, so, um, I guess some cars got caught a lap down, or something. I mean, I simply will never play iRacing just because I don't have the money or time to devote to it. Like, that shit's fucking expensive, and I'd rather not. And plus, in order to actually, like, get any fathomable amount of your money's worth through that game, you actually have to know life it. At least at the start. finish wasn't streamed, but the finish of the race was streamed. Because it just wasn't archived? couple cars absolutely got caught lap down, because there's one car, like, a couple seconds ahead of Harvick, who's leading. So. But this time, the pit, the, uh, the caution during pit cycle was not my fault, therefore. I don't feel bad. Yeah, the fact, plus the fact that everything behind iRacing, or pretty much everything in iRacing is behind the paywall. But you can try it out for free! Well, yeah. You still have to buy it eventually. If you actually want to use it. Uh, so that's like the biggest turnoff for me for iRacing is it, the fact that it's a giant money sink. Like, I'm a poor boy. <laughs> Alright? The majority of my money that I make goes towards bills. 
I can't fucking afford eye racing. He had a sponsor or something. Unfortunately, uh, I don't like produce the type of content that would give me any sort of sponsor. Unless Elgato wants to sponsor me, which I highly doubt that would ever happen. Also, thank you for 10, uh, uh, what the fuck is that? Emote? Fucking Craigasm bits, Jake. Surprise, iRacing is not getting caught up in the anti microtransaction wave that's been going on. That's because iRacing is kind of in its own little niche. Niche bubble away from like the uh, mainstream shit, like controversy that's been going on with, well, not so much microtransactions, just loot crates. So, that's probably how they've been avoiding that. Yeah, there was like five different threads I was talking about, like, there, and I've completely lost my train of thought on all of them. Alright, how am I keeping up with these guys? I don't know what the fuck these two guys are doing, but I'm keeping up with them, I'm very concerned. Tiny, um, I think Tiny's got a problem. Because look how slow he's going. He's definitely got some engine issues or something because his pace is, right now, very tiny. Also, that wasn't for position, so he's a lap down. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that's a wall. I was scratching my f head. Don't mind me. for 20 bits, Harry. That was disgusting. Yeah, welcome to Edgy Jake. He the Edgy Boy. Oh, there goes Tiny into the pits. I think he's done. Me think he's done for the day. Oh, Jesus. So speaking of uh, done for the day, where the fuck did that guy go that was actually a couple seconds in front of Harvick? He's disappeared. The rip boring truck, you'll be missed. It's okay, I'm in a much better truck now. I'm no longer held back by the Orang committee. Again, how am I keeping up with this dude? Although he's kind of a ways back from everyone else, but still. According to where one of Arrow's friends, your Arrow's edgy daddy. Sounds about right. How do you do, fellow kids? Daytona Raceway? What? You what? But Daytona doesn't show off how good or what the fuck happened here how good or bad my truck is because Daytona is shit or at least the speedway is shit the road course is pretty cool because you know 24 hour race is like one of the best races in the world but still uh, was the guy in front of Harvick tiny huh also is he back out on the track oh shit that's a wall Like, I was going to pay attention to his bubble in the pit lane, but I didn't. I, I stopped. Hello, Al. 
How are you going this slow that I'm able to keep up with you? Please answer. This is a bad idea. Oh, he's got some nose damage. That might explain it, because he might have some engine damage. Tire wear? Yes, yeah, Sebring stream this weekend. If you, uh, time to plug this. If you take a look at the info section of my Twitch page, you'll see a schedule that uh, mentions the Sebring thing this weekend. Oi! 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 No! No! Damn it! Almost saved it. Fuck. Ah, I was trying so hard to not bring out a yellow, but. Instead, uh, the car decided to just keep spinning. Nothing I could do. I had full lock to the right. There was nothing I could do. Oh well. There was an attempt. Now, do I give up these positions to, uh, take some fuel, uh, fresh tires? Sure. I will. Why the fuck not? Repair damage, sure. Eh. I'll take half a can of fuel, just cause why not? Do a quick pit stop to see if I can maybe get a slightly better finish. Of course, gonna be restarting further back, cause yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that was just one of those situations where, unless I don't know how, like, I'm doing it wrong, I don't, that was just one of those unrecoverable slides. I almost, like, I almost had it recovered, and then the card, like, just hooked left, and brought out the yellow. So we're starting 37th, how? Oh, wait, I get it. It's because those guys are lapped down. I forgot about that. Also, one lap to finish, okay. Let's restart with one lap to go. Yeah, I forgot about that. Less than 10 laps to go. All the cars a lap or more down start behind all the lead lap cars instead of next to them. I have forgotten all about that. Do I own my own team? I do in the Modified series, but not in anywhere else. Not in any other series. Alright, well, 37th. Hey, not last. So, there's that. That was a, uh, well, that was a typical race for me in the Bush series. Harvick ends up taking the win. He started 26, shit. Harvick gets the win in a, apparently a photo finish against Kenseth. Damn. Where did Blue finish? Where did our boy Blue to Castleberry finish? 15th from pole. Led 20 laps. So once again, he fucking did not get a win. Oh well. So, there's that. That would be 29th, 37th. Which, considering where I started, that was a really good finish. And there's Tiny Buchanan. Ended up 10 laps down, but I think he was actually running at the finish. So, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this car. I don't know. Hey. Had some hero points. <laughs> Made a few fans, even though I lost some prestige. Of course, we get the sad finish cutscene because I finished 37th, you know. <laughs> hey, we got a truck race next. Cool. So, there's that. Let's check out the updated bush standings with Horny Day still leading over Mark Martin. Good, and I've fallen down to 25th, now tied for 25th with Shane, Shane Kirkland. I think I dropped like 
seven, eight spots in the points there. Damn. Oh, that's how, that's what happens. So that'll do it for this segment. So next time we'll be uh, getting the first true test of our uh, four-star truck. So with that, stay tuned for more NASCAR. <laughs>